Have you ever asked yourself why do Christians fast? Why 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 do Christians fast and uh, is it really important and is it a command from God? Uh now to speak on this, first I like to tell you that uh, scripture does not command Christians to fast. That's that's not commanded. There's nowhere you can find that. And God does not require or demand it of Christians. Absolutely. At the same time, the Bible presents fasting as something that is good and profitable and beneficial. And uh, the book of Acts does record uh, believers fasting before they made important decisions. For example, we see in the book of Acts uh, 3 verse 2 says, As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, you see they fasted, the Holy Ghost said, separate me, Barnabas, and Saul, for the work whereunto I have called them. So whenever you want to make a, <clears throat> an important decision, or someone wanted to make an important decision, uh, we see people fasting concerning uh, the same, okay? But it's not a command, okay? There's also another place here in Acts 14.23, uh, it says, And when they had ordained them elders in every church and had prayed with fasting they commended them to the lord on whom they believed so you see here um they are praying and fasting because they have an important uh, thing that they were putting on that is ordaining elders uh, for the churches okay uh fasting and prayer are often linked together Fasting goes with prayer. If uh, it's fasting and then there's no prayer, that is called dieting. <laughs> okay? So fasting and uh, prayer, they are always going hand in hand. You see, fasting and prayer. And also we can see in the book of Luke, in the book of Luke 2, uh, 37. Uh, sorry, I put 23. Uh, Luke, uh, Luke uh, 2, verse... 37 yes this is the point, uh, verse i'm looking for and she was a widow of about four score and four years which departed from not from the temple but served god with fastings and prayers night and day you see fasting has to go with prayer you can't just say i'm fasting and i'm not praying fasting is really important fasting is really important and also it goes with prayer so you can't fast without prayer. And if you fast, let it be for something specific. And they said unto him, Luke 5.33, they said unto him, Why do disciples of John fast often and make prayers? And likewise the disciples of the Pharisees, but thine eat and drink? Are you seeing something here? This is to show that fasting had to do with prayers. Okay? Why do disciples fast and make prayers likewise the disciples of the pharisees uh, but thine eat and drink so if you're fasting you can't be saying i'm fasting uh, and i'm not praying so if you're leaving food make sure that there is prayer that's that's a simple uh, ex explanation of the same so most often the focus of fasting is uh, lack of food many people think uh, when you talk about um, fasting, it's all about lacking food. Instead, the purpose of fasting should be to take your eyes off the things of this world and you focus on God only. Okay? You focus on Him only. You, you just tell yourself, I, I want this time for my God. Okay? You focus on Him completely. Fasting is a way to demonstrate to God and to ourselves that we are serious about our relationship with him and fasting helps us to gain a new perspective and a renewed reliance upon God although fasting in scripture is almost uh, always uh, a fasting from food there are other ways to fast anything given up temporarily in order to put all focus and our attention to God can be considered a fast. But then, just like I put this photo here, fasting should be limited to a set time, especially when fasting from food. 
extended periods of times uh, you, of uh, staying without eating can be harmful to the body or it can be called uh, uh, just fasting to cut weight okay so fasting is not intended to punish the flesh but is to redirect attention to god and fasting should not be considered a dieting method either you say oh i'll be fasting so that uh, uh, as i as i wait upon god i will cut weight it, that, that, that's not the main thing that is called dieting the purpose of a biblical fast is not to lose weight but rather to gain deeper fellowship with god okay you gain deeper fellowship with god anyone can fast but uh, some may not be able to fast from food like uh, there are people who are diabetics uh, they cannot be able to uh, fast that, that's an example uh, but everyone can temporarily give up on something in order to draw close to god fasting is not only food based but is more so about the alone time with god how many things do you do and you find that they uh, kill a lot of your time uh, and uh, you don't really have enough time with god let's say for example you're used to social media all the time you can say i'm fasting this week from social media and i want to spend my time with god you can say this week i'm fasting from uh just meeting up with my friends and i want just to spend time with god you can say this week or uh, this uh, ma month or these three days i'm fasting from something that i really enjoy so much maybe you watch movies after after work you'll say no i'll fast from movies the next three days and i'm going to focus on god so fasting is more so about leaving everything and just focusing on god and uh, by taking our eyes off the things of this world we can be more successful okay in turning our attention towards christ okay when we turn from the world we can focus more on christ and fasting is not a way to get uh to god uh, to, uh, I mean, it's not a way to get God to do what you want. You know, there are those people who say, oh, God, God I'm, I'm fasting so that you can give me this, you can give me that. It's not a way to tell God, God, please, I want this. No, it, it's just a way uh, to make sure that you are close to God. But it's not, yes, you can be fasting so that you can ask God for a certain breakthrough. But it's not a way to tell God, if I fast, then give me this. No, God is not into doing business. And another thing also you have to understand is that uh, fasting is not a way to appear more spiritual than others. There are those people who try to fast for a show. They fast because I want to be seen by others. Eh? I'm wearing those sacks and I'm sitting in the streets and uh, you know people can understand, oh, that is Kate. Oh, this week is fasting. Eh? You know, and people can say, oh, this guy is really spiritual. Fasting is to be done in a spirit in a, in the spirit of humility uh, and also a joyful attitude. The Bible tells us in Matthew six sixteen. Matthew uh, six verse sixteen, it tells us how we should fast and we should stay on those lines. Moreover, when you fast, be not as the hypocrites of a sad countenance countenance for they disfigure their faces you see hypocrites what they do when they are fasting they disfigure their faces that they may appear to uh, unto men to fast verily i say unto you they have they have their reward if you're trying to fast like uh, i'm showing you the picture of this guy here to appear to people that oh wow that is kate he's fasting oh, oh he looks miserable oh he's a really a spiritual man you have your reward but you when you fast jesus tells us how we should fast when you fast anoint your head basically apply some oil in your face look look well don't let anyone understand that you're really fasting no and wash your face that you appear not unto men to fast but unto thy father which is in which is in secret and thy father which sees in secret shall reward you openly are you seeing so don't don't be a hypocrite uh you know you have dry lips and you seem as if oh this guy is so miserable is fasting and people can say wow 
this person looks so nice is fasting no go up wash your face apply yourself some oil wear some nice clothes you know be okay and when people tell you oh uh, we have prepared some dinner here just tell them no thanks I'm, I'm just doing something don't tell them oh i don't want that because i'm fasting for 40 days and 40 nights like jesus because ugh, come on that's that's just fake that's just fake okay and if you're there and you still don't know the gospel you're not saved please be saved the gospel is found in first corinthians 15 1 through 4 and it's all about understanding how that christ died for our sins he was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures there are five points that you need to understand before you get saved number one you have to understand that you're lost number two you have to hear the gospel number three you have to believe the gospel number four you have to uh you, you believe the god hmm? come on I, I, i'm lost number one you have to understand you're lost number two you have to uh hear the, the gospel number three you have to understand the gospel yes and then number four you believe the gospel and then number five you confess what you have believed so there are five points to salvation really easy and really uh, well so what do you hear you hear the gospel first corinthians 15 1 through 4 how that christ died for our sins he was buried and rose again the third day according to the scripture so how did he die he died by shedding his blood because without shedding of blood there is no forgiveness of sins and uh, the bible tells us the blood is really important because the life of the flesh is in the blood leviticus 17 11 and it is only the blood of jesus which is innocent which could have saved us from our sins so once you understand that fact you have to confess it to christ and tell him what you believed in a prayer Tell him, Jesus, I understand now that you died for my sins. You are buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Be my Lord and my Savior. Save me, Lord. Thank you for your blood. And thank you for giving me this second chance. And my friends, if you've done that, you're saved, sealed, and sanctified unto the day of redemption. So hope this has been a blessing to you. If you enjoy fasting, please do it. Sometimes I really... I want to fast but uh, it's usually very hard especially when you want to eat <laughs> and some things but uh, at times you 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 can fast on anything you can fast from social media you can fast from people you can fast on there's so many ways that you can spend time with god okay so if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and also give it a a subscribe you know just become a new subscriber if you're not and also hit the notification bell to and not miss any new video which we post every day and likewise on uh description we have a couple of other uh channels outside uh, youtube that we post new videos please go and check them out god bless you and have a good time